Good morning everyone. Today we're going to go to Port Frank. Port Frank is a small town by the lake you're on. And outside of Port Frank is humongous sand here. And the family is coming to visit visually sm small kids climbing up on the top. Well, I'm not a small kid so I'm not gonna try to do it. It's fairly high and it's built by nature. It's a very small town. We're going to take a look at it, how is it looks like, and what this town is offered. Of course, this one is on the highway 21 too. Everything is. This side of the lake here is connected somehow to the highway 21. So, as you can see on that, the windmills and where there's traffic, that is a highway 21. So from the highway 21, the small road go into Port Frank. So we're going to take a short drive and check out. The village is very small and very old. Let's see what it has to offer. So we got into a village itself and this street next to the lake and we try to walk to the beach. So, what is good to know about this beach is a privately owned beach, owned by local people. However, in Canada, the water owned by the government. So, a water is free to use for everyone, but the access to the water is limited. So they don't want tourists here. So you want to enjoy this beach, you have to rent a cabin or, or, or a campground, go on campground, because very limited parking space in front of the beach. All other spot is a tow away zone. So we're going to check it out. How is it today? It's going to be a Nice walk on the sunshine and the beautiful houses on the waterfront. There's a marina here, actually, an area, biggest marina, very long and many boats. Another interesting thing all this small town was in sand. They called the area in a sand dune area is a protected area trees animals and birds and nowhere else saw in Canada our village itself is very small but actually it's getting bigger it used to be very small and in the past many cottages and lots of tourists, of course. Before the Second World War, a major of the people who live here was not even Canadians. There is no any big factory here. It's just some local stores, the marina, some restaurants. It has a community center, library. And that's it. So winter time is a life stops here. So they have to make a living for year on living at summer time. So do you see? So we got to the beach area. There's quite a few car here. But the interesting part of the things, everywhere is no parking sign. And people still parking. I guess this is a money maker for the township. Because the sign was over there, it stated $120 fine. It says no parking between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m.
private beach. No, tra no trespassing. No dogs, no, no pets. Okay. From 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. So Oscar, you're not gonna go there. So this is the walkway to the beach. As you can see, a lot of people here, and it's very shallow. I see even the kids far away inside. It's a nice family beach. Let's go a little bit higher. Here we go. So see the sand dunes, the sand and the plantings, the sand everywhere. All oh, the houses built on the sand. There is a small river. Going to not even a river, it's just a channel. Okay, I think that's about it for the beach. We want to look for something else. Interesting to see here. So remember, if you want, would like to visit this beach, you have to rent a cottage or a place in the campground or trailer park. Many, many are on this township. They make a living from it. Otherwise, your access is limited. You can come here at any time, but just walk. A beach is privately owned. What they're owned by the government, but the access to the beach is owned by the local people, so they don't want all kinds of trouble here. So that's how they try to control it. And I think they're doing it right because, as you can see, it's fairly quiet, lots of kids and families, not so drunken teenagers. So I think it's a nice an idea, it's not that bad. So everything is a private property here. So I'm trying to find the drone. I'm not sure it's gonna work out or not, but I'll give it a try. We will see what's gonna happen.
it's part of the marina and they can store or repair boat. I'm not sure why these two sailboats are here waiting for repair or for sale. As you can see, many boats here, many trailers, small boats, big boats, small trailer, big trailers, sailboats, motorboats. This one is just like a hose on the boat, a boat hose. There is a big sailboat, I think it's really crappy shape. And then there's a motor home on the end. Small motor boat. And then behind it in the jet ski. So all kind of tools and ways how you can spend your money if you have. So that's that building is a boat launch. People can launch their boat on the water for 10 bucks today. Trailer parking. So it's a summer town. I don't think anything is happening here in winter time other than snow, and that one is a lot. So this is one of the main streets but behind the main street is a trailer park there's no any different like any other street but interesting thing in this township is many trees so if you walk on the road it's hard to see the house from the trees This is a long term show. So there is the house. <laughs> the main floor window boarded up. That one is up on the side. Not a waste of money. Huh? Oh, here is our car. So I think they're going to take a short car ride right now. Well, I think I'm going to finish up this video now. Many more things to show this small village, but I cannot show it in a small, short video. So this is part of the money now. As I said before, this is one of the biggest money now in, in this side of the Yuna Lake. It's a river going into the lake, so it's protecting naturally the boats. Look at it, how many boats. Hmm. Anyway, guys, that was it today. See you next time. Thank you for watching.